six, nine, Today we're going to unbox a Creality K1 AI camera. Right in the package we have an AI manual. It shows you how to install it. And then there is much, not much more. It's just a camera. Let's take it out there and one screw. So one, just one screw and the camera. It's fully plastic, so nothing metal on there. Not even this part is metal, it's just all plastic. Get on to the installation now. So the installation of the camera is straightforward. As you can see, it just slides into this gap here. So this is the front of the printer. So you come here in this side, in the right front side. It just slides in there and then you tighten it up with just one bolt and the cable is actually there. You just take it out and you put it inside of your camera. That's about it for the installation. And when you come to your screen here, you go to settings, camera, and it should be, you know, you should have these options here, as you can see, video list, camera settings, AI detection, you can turn it on or off, but that's about it, what the setup on the printer. Now I'm going to show you guys on how to install time lapse on your Fluid Clipper. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So first of all, we need to download timelapse.py, which is a Python script that you need for this timelapse option. And you go to this website and here you press on components and then you see here timelapse.py, you click on it and then you get the script here. And what you have to do is click on raw. And here you have the script in a raw format. And what you have to do is press control S and here you have to save it as all files. Make sure you change that. And then you type behind the timelapse.py and then you save it. You also need a timelapse.cfg file, which you can find here. And when you get this time lapse, you just press on this download button and you will have downloaded it. And you put them both together in a folder best. And then we move on to the WinSCP. So you start up WinSCP, you log in, password Creality. And once you log in there, go to the root. And on the route, you go to user, so user here, this map, and then you go to data. And here in this folder, check if you have already this time-lapse map. If you don't have it, make one. Just right-click, new, map, and then you type in time-lapse, and then you press OK. I'm not going to press OK because I already got one, so here. So once you make this map, you get out of here. Here, like, you know, you go back. And then you go back to user and then share and here you have to find moonraker and you press another time moonraker so it has to be looking like this moonraker moonraker and then components and here we have to upload or timelapse.py so you probably don't have it yet i already got it so you just upload the file here timelapse.py you have to put it in this folder once you have done that you go back and you can close WinSCP for now. So now you come to your fluid screen and here you press on configure and then you choose printer.cfg and here you have to include include timelapse.cfg you have to make it just like this one. Once you have made this one you save and restart it and once that happened you have to go to your moonraker.config file here and here you have to add this 
line here, time lapse, and then also put in output uh, underscore path double point and slash USA slash data slash time lapse slash. This will go to the map that I showed you if you didn't have it in WinSCP. It will output the path there, so it will actually see that map as your output map and also save the files there. So you also press here save and restart. Then we have to copy the timelapse.cfg file onto our uh, fluid, which is here. You just copy it in here. Let me open it up. I haven't changed anything here. So you just have to have this in there. That's it. So once you copy that one here as well, we are kind of set up now. So when you now restart your fluid, you will have this icon here. It will be popping up here. You just click on it. So what it does now, it's showing you your camera on the right side. And here are the settings for your time lapse. So you can change those settings as you can see here. And you can also go to here, time lapse in the options menu. And then you make sure you have chosen your camera of your K1. And you can only use layer macro because when you choose hyperlapse, it just doesn't work for some reason. It's a different type of um, a time lapse, but layer macro works. So park head, I'm using this. This is for to park your the print head whilst it's making the time lapse. Otherwise, you see this head going left to right, left to right, whatever. But this is a more sleeker. It will take a little longer to make at the time. Well, the print will take a little longer if you choose this option. But I like this option. If you're making a time lapse, make it sure it looks good. And then you, you, the settings I'm using are these. So I'm my park position is center. You can also choose front right or back left, back right, move X only. Or you can also choose custom and you can determine where it's going to stop and pause for a second. Use firmware retraction. You don't do this because you have to enable it in your printer.cfg file. You have to give parameters. Otherwise, it won't know how to do it or how much to retract it. So leave it off. And these are also the settings I'm using. And render settings is what I just showed you before here. So all the rest is like it should be. So now when you do this, it's actually automatically implements it into the time lapse in your fluid. So now there is another thing you have to do. It's if you're using Cura or Prusa Slicer. Those are the two that I know that works with it. But because you can't just slice now with, with Creality Print, it doesn't have the inset. So what we need is a time lapse take frame script and I configured it on Cura. What you have if you want to use Cura for the K1, you have to take all the settings from the Creality print slicer. Everything has to go over. So I did it manually. I think that's the only way that is working. I'm not sure, but I did all the settings I could take from the Creality print to Cura and that's how I'm now using Cura. So let's open up Cura. So in Cura, I made a custom printer, which is FFF printer, it says. So alongside with my all my other printers, so I just made this one. So everything, as you can see, is changed here. I had to change all this. I just copy, well, paste it from Creality Print. And there are some options that I still need to change, but it was just for testing now. So what you have to do here is you press on extensions and then processing and then modify G code. You click on here and then you have to add a script and you have to choose inset at layer change. It doesn't matter if you choose before or after, which I just chose before. And what you have to type in here as a code inset is time lapse underscore take underscore frame. So you put it like this and then you close it. So this has to be in there, otherwise it won't do the time lapse. So once this is there and when you slice now a file, as I did, I'm going to show you guys now what I sliced. So now the printer is going to heat up the print bed and the hot end. And once that is happened, we will just check time lapse here and you will see that the frames are going to count. And after that, we will see a file here. The file might pop up even with one frame, but you will have to wait until the print finishes before you can actually download it. So now the print has finished. As you can see here, there is a main output file here. It's a H264. Uh, codec so what we have to do now is download this file so you just download it as you can see it's downloading but you have to also delete it after you downloaded it and why because this file cannot be played in in regular format so you have to click on it and you delete it for the next time lapse that you have to do 
otherwise it will just add it to that file so it will be a bigger file but with two things and if you have to print three things it will be three things so it's better to delete it so that all is one separate file so after you downloaded it what I use is this website h264 to mp4 file so you just add the file here which is here so we click it open and you upload it first and then you do start converting and it takes a little bit of time so once it's done it's here and you click on it and the file should be showing here so this is what we have made now as you guys can see it's completely finished so I know this is not like a very simple automated version of it but this is what we have made to work now this is a, a kind of a fix to make it work this is the only way for this moment as far as I know I, I'm sure that there will be someone who makes it a little bit smoother but this is how it works for me at the moment anyways guys this is it thank you for watching this video Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye!